Good morning, students. Here we are again in our um, learning at distance, and we are going to target the writing piece. Every Monday, I want to create a routine for you and your families, so it's something that is easy. Instead of guessing what the assignment is going to be for the next week, I would like to help you with that by creating a consistent assignment um, routine, and I think I, um, that it will help everybody, okay? That's my opinion, and I think it is helpful because I am also a parent who has the need for routines in this particular learning um, situation, and um, the classroom creates a very safe, controlled environment for routines to happen, and we become amazing learners because we have those systems in place. So when we're in a virtual learning, we don't have those systems and students, families get a little bit stressed and I want to help with that. So here we go. Every Monday we're going to write and cover a little bit about um, writing narratives, which is the standard 1.3. So our target for the narratives is writing in sequence. So I'm going to write our target. Help me spell some words, please, as I write. We will write a story using words in sequence. And what does sequence mean? Oh, let's put this in the back of the mind. Um, sequence, to write in sequence, we have to use the words first, next, then, and uh, at last, or at the end, finally, um, at the end. So those are the temporal words that help us uh, tell a story successfully with a a like a, a sequence right like a, a sequence of events that make us think wow you did this first next you did something else so let's let's write those words for you before the sequence words though as i was writing uh, my lesson in spanish i was thinking that you need to tell me a little bit more about you before the first i did this you need to tell me what you did um, and what are you going to tell me so I would like you to start with a, a, an introductory or a principal sentence. You know, the, the first sentence I want you to tell me, um, tell me your name. My name is, and right here I want to leave that space for you to write your name. My name is, and I'm going to tell you, right, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to describe I want to share, and I want to share, to share, I would like that word, share. I want to share, or I want to write, why not? Use the word write again, and I want to write, I want to share about my weekend. Weekend is a compound word, right? It has the word week and end, and weekend. So, you can start on Saturday, right? That would be a good one, a good transitional word, a good uh, way to start a sentence. On Saturday, comma, I went to the store, I woke up, whatever you want to start. So the next word, the, it's next. The next sentence starts, could start with next. And then you finish your sentence. Then, that's another transitional word. At the end, or at last, I'm going to use at the end. I don't know why I like that better. At the end, da -da 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 -da. boom. And then after that, you have to give me a little heart. I always write a heart for my students. So they need to remember that they need to go back to about your weekend and tell about the weekend. So that's an easy process for, as I was sharing uh, in a Spanish lesson, 
for third, fourth, or fifth graders to have the sequence in there right quickly. However, I was looking at the work submitted by some of my students, and if you're not my student, your teacher is using this lesson, um, I'm pretty sure there's a few of you who write just very, a very short um, narrative, which is fine, but I want to help you write more. So, um, in the Spanish lesson, I share the same process that I think will help everybody. And this is the, the little drawings that I did for the Spanish le uh, the lesson in Spanish. So I'm going to do the same for you. I'm going to use a different color so you don't get confused. I do have a few colors that need. I'm going to use purple. Okay, so the first step, you're going to divide your paper in half. Top and bottom. There, just like that. Then the top part, you're going to divide it in half. Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then the, this half, you, you're going to make another line. At the end, you have four little rectangles. Can you count them? One, two, three, four. Let's not count this one right here, this red. Um, I cannot do anything about that. So right here, I want you to write the word, oops, I was going to write in Spanish primero. <laughs> I want you to write the word first. I didn't put an uppercase letter because I thought I was going to write a sentence, but I need to write it in uppercase letter first. Something that you did first, or you can use the, um, on Saturday, or first on Saturday, I woke up. Um, then, right, then, you can use the word after. That's another simple thing. At the end. At the end, that's another. Very simple. Okay, so now I want you to draw because drawing helps you get your ideas on paper. So what do you do first? Think about that and draw it. In, my Sp in the lesson that I did in Spanish, I wrote the, the sun. So it remembers, I, I mean, it reminds me and I remember that I'm going to write something that I did something in the morning. So the sun, I can write the word morning as well. I can write the word, um, let's say, in Spanish I drew a toothbrush, but let's do a hairbrush and a toothbrush too, why not? There, toothbrush. So there we go. So that tells me right here that I have many, many ideas. I can say in the morning, in the morning, it was a sunny day, and I used my hairbrush, brush my teeth, and brush, uh, ha brush my hair, and brush and my. Oops, sorry, let's try again. I used my hairbrush and brush my hair. I used my toothbrush and brushed um, my teeth. Then, what do you eat? It's in the morning. Are you hungry? I am. I'm usually very hungry. So there's a bowl. And let's say that you ate cereal. So you can have a little spoon in there. Spoon, right? Some milk. There. Then my mom said, hey, it's time to eat. And I went downstairs or I went to the living room or I went to the kitchen and I got my cereal and I eat cereal. After eating the cereal, what do you do? Let's say that you help put the dishes in the sink. And let's say put a few dishes there with some spoons. Okay. 
So we're going to put sink, the sink, and we're going to put dirt, dirty, right? I'm using a strong accent so you know how to spell the word dirty, but it's dirty dishes. There we go. What happened at the end? At the end, uh, let's say that you went, you went to the store. There is a car. You went to the store to buy groceries with your mom. And that's it. You can write a lot by drawing first. Your thoughts need to be on paper for you to draw. And I, I was sharing that we do that all the time. Adults do that all the time. People who go to college do that all the time. We use graphic organizers. We use drafts. Um, we write drafts and drafts because we want our ideas to get on paper. And we don't delete anything. Um, we save the drafts because then as you make another paper, you get better and better. And at the end, you submit your work, your finished paper for grading, for people, uh, the professors to grade it. So you do the same. Draw first. If going to these letters and sentences, starting sentences, is not helpful, draw. Draw your steps here. You have a lot of information right there with your drawings. Don't forget to label them. Okay, you can spend 10, 15 minutes drawing. It's okay. Take a break. Look at your paper. Add more to your drawings, more details, and then start start your dry, uh, your writing process. Okay. So let's say this is where you start. Hello. Today I'm going to share about my weekend. My name is Easton. And I'm writing, I'm going to use a contraction. I'm writing about my weekend. There, that's a little start right there. And then you just say, first, I woke up. Everybody wakes up, right? because it already happened, I woke up and I brushed. My hair. You can say, then I brushed my teeth. Fine, it's okay. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you the process of writing and the little steps that will help you write a lot. All your thoughts, put them onto paper first by drawing them. I know you can do it. This is going to be every Monday, a routine that we're going to practice together. Okay, so go back and practice. Have a good rest of the day. And remember, if you spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes drawing, it is okay. Okay, and then take a break and then go back to the writing. Take a picture, send it to CISO, uh, I mean, upload it to CISO or um, Class Dojo. I, let's, uh, we're doing the transition to CISO. If, your teacher is using this video, send it to whatever platform your teacher is using. But for our classroom, do it, um, do the, follow the instructions your teacher is um, giving you, okay? So anyway, our classroom, go back to work, yay!